Hello boys and girls. Our story today is about Ezekiel the prophet. Ezekiel was a priest of the temple who had been taken as a captive along with Daniel and his three friends. In the fifth year of exile, the Lord called Ezekiel to be a prophet to encourage his captive people and to give them hope for the future. I am Ezekiel. On the fifth day of the fourth month in the thirteenth year, the heavens suddenly opened. The Lord placed his hand upon me and showed me some visions. The Lord God said, Ezekiel, son of man, Israel's leaders are like shepherds taking care of my sheep, the people of Israel. But I want you to condemn those leaders and tell them, I, the Lord God, say you shepherds of Israel are doomed. You take care of yourselves while ignoring my sheep. The Lord God then said, I will look after my sheep and take care of them myself, just as a shepherd looks after lost sheep. The sheep have been lost since the dark and miserable day when they were scattered throughout the nations. But I will rescue them and bring them back from the foreign nations where they now live. I will be their shepherd and will let them graze on Israel's mountains and in the valleys and fertile fields. I will rescue them and no longer let them be mistreated. I will separate the good from the bad. After that, I will give you a shepherd from the family, my servant, King David. All of you, both strong and weak, will have the same shepherd, and he will take good care of you. They will live around my holy mountain, that's Jerusalem, and I will bless them by sending rain to make their trees produce fruit and their crops to grow. I will set them free from slavery and let them live safely in their own land. Then they will know I am the Lord. Jesus said in John chapter 10, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd gives up his life for his sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and they know me. My sheep know my voice. And I know them. They follow me, and I will give them eternal life, so that they will never be lost. No one can snatch them out of my hand. Ezekiel also said, Our God, your name will be praised forever and forever. You are all powerful, and you know everything. You control human events. You give rulers their power and take it away. You are the source of wisdom and knowledge. Peter the Apostle wrote, Then our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ will give you a glorious welcome into his kingdom that will last forever. John the Apostle wrote in Revelation 21 and verse 1, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, and so had the sea. Won't that be wonderful to be there, boys and girls? God bless you.